Yeah, just to be clear, Charles, he does say, with regard to the potential prosecution of the press for the disclosure of material, that is not something I've ever been involved in, heard of, or would think would be wise policy. But yet, in order to sign that search warrant, he has to convince the judge that he is interested in going after James Rosen in order to get those emails and what's in those emails. So in the end, his defense is, because Joan is right, either he lied uh, to Congress or he lied to a judge, their defense is it was a ruse. We didn't really want to prosecute him, which is probably true, because it's never successfully been done. The last people to attempt it seriously was Nixon in the Pentagon Papers case, and even the Nixon administration stopped and dropped it because they knew it wouldn't have a chance. So either it was um, something that they were not going to do, but they did it as a ruse in order to put Rosen in a separate category. Because if you are a co-conspirator, if you are a cr criminal suspect, and if you add on to that, you lard it on and you say he's a flight risk, well, then it allows you to do all kind of stuff to his emails, communication, personal and professional, that you can't if he's a journalist. So th their defense is we went around the law, we essentially violated the law by pretending he's a criminal or co-conspirator when we knew at the beginning he wasn't, and that to me is damning as well. Uh, this comes as today.